Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about um, designing other variants of um, this style of jet, the F5 and the F20. Now this here is the T38 that I showed you guys how to model and, uh, and um, this is what it um, looks like, what I've um, did it more, um, just a little bit more modeling on it to make it look better and um, Here's what I got so far. But anyway, let's take a look at the other variants of this. I'll turn these bodies off here. Oh, also, if you um, haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really helps to grow my channel. Okay, now here's the T38. And as you can see, um, in my last video, I use three portions or three forms to model this. So um, again, this is three forms here where we have this section here, this section here, and this top up here. And when I showed you guys how to model this, I didn't use a loft between the two points here to get this point really um, smooth going in because that just takes a little more time to do, but it's not difficult to do if you want to do that. I mean, um, this looks good as it is um, for um, not doing that. Okay, so again, we got the three sections here. And like I said before, you can use these formers here to model this jet, but it's just easier just to use forms for this. And um, because going to run into a little problem here lofting between here and here you just can't loft um, this to this um, this former to this former so you have to you're gonna to have to break this up <clears throat> excuse me you're gonna to have to break this up cut this off here and somewhat cut this off here then um, start lofting these two together and then um, you'll just move forward with it but now let's take a look at um, other ones. Let's go um, with the F5 here. Okay. Now this is our F5 here. And you can see here, again, you may not have to use three forms here. You probably could you just use two, the center section here and this top section up here. So as we look at this up here, we have this section here, which is all together, and then this portion here. Unlike the T-38. So yeah, um, this could be done just with two sections here. Just the center section and this um, um, piece right here. And this here, you would just follow this line right here and then the bottom section here and follow the line on back here. So this would just be two sections. As you can see here, yeah, just two. But the canopy, as we can see here, it's got a little portion that goes over into it on the side here. So if you made all this in one piece to, um, I mean, um, and, and, um, instead of making this in three pieces, you may have to do a little work here to get that to, to um, bevel in slightly like that. So me, I would use three pieces here, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. So you'd make this section here, just a section here, this section here, and then this top piece up here. Then you just um, pull this down to go down inside here at the front to get this. So you can get this section of the canopy going up like this. So again, go ahead and use three to make a more scale model of this, three pieces. This, this, and the top up here. Yeah, because we can see this slightly over here too, yeah. Um, 
go out and use three pieces for that, just like the T38. So if we turn that T38, you can see now, you can see the jets are very similar here, the T38 and this F5. Now, the F5B, um, believe it or not, it's somewhat, it looks like a T38 from the side. It looks exactly like a T38 from the side. But then um, you start seeing the differences in the way it looks with these, I don't know what these are called, fairings perhaps, up here on the front of the wings, up here, these strakes. Um, the F5 has these, and a T38 does not. So the F5B has these on it. But the rest of the fuselage and everything looks like T-38. And I guess the difference between the T-38 and the F-5B is that the um, F-5B was um, um, used for fighter, um, for actual fighting, and a little heavier jet also, and faster. And the T-38, you know, it's just a trainer, um, trainer jet, but the F-5 was not a trainer jet, the F-5B the two-seater version of the F5. Okay, now turn the F5 off here and turn on the F20. Okay, now we have the F20 here. And this... Um, let's look at the front here. Okay, now... This here... To be honest, now this one I would just do in two pieces. This um, section here and this section here. I would make this center section here throughout here. This center section here. And then uh, make this section um, out here to get this. So, yeah, modeling um, this, to model this, um, out of these three jets here, I, th I think this is probably the, um, this one will be the easiest to model the fuselage. Now, the wing and things, um, you just model this like a regular wing here, just the wing and then um, you add this portion of it later. It's simple to do also. This, I don't know what it's called, um, this section up here. Just like on the F5 uh, here. That's this little section up here. And then we have the T38. See, they're all similar jets. Let's turn all the um, three of them on. And um, as we look at this, they're all pretty much um, have the same shape. And the top, they all have that um, Coke bottle shape. But this one is not as drastic as the T-38. The T-38 comes in a little more here. Same thing with the F-5. It comes in more here. Like this here, you can really see the kilk bottle shape. Um, here you can all of them off. You can really see the coke bottle here in um, this model, the T38. The shape here. But um, anyway. I just want to give you guys some little tips about uh, modeling the T-38, or excuse me, um, yeah, the T-38, the F-5, and the F-20. And they're all pretty much the same, well, they're um, physically, 
they all appear to look very similar, but um, they are different jets. But modeling them would pretty much um, be the same on um, all three, how to model those. So if you watch my video on how I modeled that T-38, do the same thing for the F-5 and the F-20. It's just that on, on the F-20, um, you don't need three pieces, just um, two pieces using that center section. And you should be good to go um, there. And the wings and everything else, they're all done the same way too, um, modeling those. So um, just watch the T-38 video if you want to do an F-5 or an F-20 and you'll get all the information that you need, how to model it. Um, you're going to do everything the exact same way how I did this, um, except on the F-20. On the F-20, um, you won't need this top piece up here. Um, you'll just use the center piece. And, um, but we have to use three pieces here because we um, needed to get this indention over here. So that's why we just used... Um, three pieces to get that. And um, so, yeah. And if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, what I'm doing here is um, leave them down in the comments or send me a, um, a message over on my email or my Facebook group or my Patreon site and my Patreon site and my um, Facebook group, both are called Cab Bill Fly RC. And if you, can, if you can, become a paid member on my Patreon site. Um, you'll have access to all the files that I show you guys how to model here on my um, channel here. And, um, and it's only $5 a month, so um, it's pretty good. And also, again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And this jet here, this T-38, looks very complicated, but as you see... Um, not complicated to um, not excuse me, not complicated um, not difficult to model at all, and it just looks complicated. Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this short little video, and um, I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.